Hello, it is Erica from the Teacher Next Door team. Um, for the couple thousand of you who grabbed the explicit writing freebie earlier this summer, um, I'm gonna go through how we don't have our kids write for the first like month of school. Let me explain. All right, this is backwards, but it won't be backwards in a second. I'm standing in front of this window because it's really dark over there. Um, so on about halfway through this, I don't know exactly what page this is. I can put it in the text here. Um, we have the paragraph rubric, but there's also an editable version um, that's in Google Slides. So you can change anything that's on here to whatever you want it to be. Uh, but let me show you what's on this writing rubric because this is our end goal for kids when they are writing paragraphs. Remember, like we want kids to be in like the five point column here. So let's look at the rubric and then look how we're gonna get kids to get there essentially. All right, here's my printed out version. I just put it through the book binder in here. That's the whole entire freebie. But on page eight of the digital file, you can just click this Google Slides icon right here and it will create a force copy for you to put it in your Google Drive. Uh, this is just the regular rubric. This one's not editable, but this has the little box where you can drag it over the point value that your student scored. And then there is, there's a couple different versions over here. Um, but this version has where each of the individual criteria is editable. And then the larger criteria, the categories on the left, hand side are editable here as well if you want to just use my template put the total on the side and then total it on the bottom for the students and then you can send this home via google classroom for students or good old paper this is my favorite all right check out the categories that we added again you can change these if you want we've got topic sentence supporting ideas details conclusion sentence transitions and then mechanics down here on the bottom Okay, first and most important category at the beginning of a paragraph is the topic sentence. Now we are just specifically talking about individual paragraphs. So we are talking about expository paragraphs. This is not going to help support your narrative. You can use a template if you want to, um, but this is like an expository piece of writing. So topic sentence. We've got the paragraph has a clear topic sentence that tells what the paragraph is about. Clear, concise, to the point. Supporting ideas, just looking at the five point column here, the paragraph has three supporting ideas that help explain the topic. We like to use three, you don't have to. Again, you can edit that, make two, make it two if you want to. Details, um, over here, the paragraph has three details for each supporting idea that help explain the topic. This is going to be a robust paragraph. If you don't teach fourth or fifth grade, if, you, if you're a third grade teacher, you might wanna change the numerical value uh, for the details here and the supporting ideas. Maybe you wanna do two supporting ideas and one detail for each, or two supporting ideas and two details for each whatever you want you've got it on the digital version conclusion sentence Woo, this is hard uh, teaching conclusion sentences in upper elementary is kind of a nightmare because um to teach it the right way and not have students just repeat the topic sentence is a task all in itself um, don't worry i have resources for you uh, but the paragraph has a clear, clear conclusion that summarizes the topic and supporting ideas um, but right here i make it very clear to my students this cannot just be a repeat of the topic sentence up here because you can see in the criteria in number four it's too similar to a topic sentence bops you down to a four down here um, so teaching that don't don't fear i've got resources for you it's hard all right, skipping ahead, page 24 of the freebie here. This is the teaching checklist. In order to adhere to that rubric right there and to actually teach kids how to do that stuff on that rubric, uh, we've got the teaching checklist. So every single lesson that you have to teach to get them there um, is what we teach first at the beginning of the school year. So we are not, we're not creative writing. We're not writing in our writing journals. We are literally just going through whole group, all of these lessons, because if kids don't have a good model for how to put a paragraph together, I, it is so much more difficult to go teach that in the middle of the year than it is at the beginning of the school year. So we will teach all of those, which does take almost an entire month of instruction. The culminating activity there at the end of all of those lessons is that we write a paragraph together. And that is our like our example to use throughout the entire school year. This is so beneficial, even when you get into more creative writing styles and like your narrative writing unit and stuff, this is so beneficial because students have an idea of how to organize their writing um, and ideas on how to write different sentences and different types of sentences. I had a couple people email me and say like, well, where are your writing grades coming from during first quarter? Um, so we do have classwork that pairs with that, like when we are teaching topic sentences, when we are teaching conclusion sentences and transitions and even mechanics and things like that, we are taking class grades for those items. Of course, we are doing them whole group and then having students practice them independently as well. Um, and here's the resource that we use. You are more than, I'm gonna show you the, our resource. It is our resource. It is our number one bestseller on TPT for a reason. You are more than welcome to recreate these lessons yourself with your own materials. You do not need this. If you wanted to save you time, 
go for it by all means. I think it is worth its weight in gold and then some because you can use it again and again and again every school year and it will change your writing life. Um, but again, if you want to recreate these lessons yourself, go for it. You've got the teaching less like checklist right there. You know exactly which lessons that you need to create. Um, it's all yours. It's free. I am going to link that freebie for you on the next slide too, by the way. Before I show you those lessons though, I want to show you why I'm sharing this resource, especially that freebie with you. Um, let's look at the national report card um, writing assessment scores for 2011. Let's just take a peek at them. First of all, yes, these are from 2011. Uh, they're old. They are ridiculously old. We don't assess writing enough in this country. Um, let's take a look at this. So here are kids who are eligible for free or reduced lunch, and here are kids who are not eligible. Let's take a look at the kids. Let's just look at not eligible for free or reduced lunch. Let's see how many of them were pro um, proficient with writing. Proficient, okay? Uh, 32% with 5% of them being advanced. Now let's look at this. If they were eligible for free or reduced lunch, a mere 12% were at the proficiency level or the advanced level. This is abysmal. This is, we need to do better with writing instruction. Okay, if you've made it this far, first of all, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I was not expecting to go off about writing instruction like that. I was expecting to share it with you, but like, she, she's in training mode. I just got back from that training in Miami and she's she's still in training mode right now. Um, so if you want me to show you the inside of that full bundle, whether or not you just like want to see the lessons and you can create them yourself, because I know like the first five years of teaching for me, I would have just created all the lessons myself. Um, so if you want that, I'm happy to show you. Go for it. You can do that. Um, if you want me to show you that bundle so you can see what's on the inside, because maybe you want to purchase it, I'm happy to show you what's in there too. So you know exactly what you're getting. Uh, if that sounds of something of interest to you and you find that that would be helpful, um, can you slide this? I'm going to put a slider here. Just slide it all the way to the right so I get a gauge of like how many people want that. And then if we have enough, I will do it tomorrow for you. Pinky promise.